Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you guys the books that I'm planning to read during the month of September. I'm not sure if I'll get through all of them, but if I do, that would be fantastic. I'm really excited to get through them and in no particular order, I'm gonna start with The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have never read The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. I have watched the movies and I love the movies. So I am excited to get to this book this month because I will be joining the Tolkien Along. It is a read-along created by Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction and her, Beth and Lauren. I will leave their Instagrams down below and the link where Ashley announced the whole read-along down below so you guys can go check it out if you guys are interested. But they have created this whole read-along and it's going to go through discourse. I've never used it before, so this is going to be the first time I use it. But I am excited to get to the book and finally read it. I know this book is going to be a little bit dense, so I'm planning to get to it soon. So I can have the whole month to read it if I need to. But long story short, I tried to read this book when I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. And because my English was very limited at the time, it was super difficult to understand what was going on because it is a dense book from what I remember and from what I've heard. It is a very dense book, but I am excited to finally get to it and be able to understand everything completely. And I'm really happy that Ashley, Beth and Lauren are doing this so I can have people to discuss the book with and I'm really excited. We are going to read The Lord of the Rings throughout the rest of the year, so each book, each month, if that makes sense. Moving on, this book I am planning to leave it to the end of the month because I need a break from the series and that is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. I am still reading the series and I am still interested in knowing what happened, but I'm honestly getting burnt out by it so I decided to not pick it up yet until the end of the month I'll try to pick it up and see how it goes maybe some weeks apart from this series is what I needed and hopefully I will pick it up by the end of the month the next book I'm planning to get to is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I've been meaning to pick up this book since it came out everyone was talking about it it's fantasy it's romance, I believe there's a witch and a hunter from what I remember. I don't remember a lot from it, but the second book finally came out this month. I still haven't bought it because I told myself that I need to read the first book to see if I like it enough for me to go buy the second book. So I'm going to be reading this one first and then we'll see if I can finally buy the second book and read it. And I love the fact that I can finally read this one. And if I like it and love it, I can pick up the second book because it's already out and I don't have to wait a whole year like most people that have read the book had to wait for. The next book I plan to read is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I believe I've had this book on my other TBRs, but I still haven't gotten to it. I, this is a gorgeous cover. This book is set in the 1920s in Mexico and I believe I had said that it involves Aztec gods but that was a mistake on my end. It involves Mayan gods but I'm still super excited to read it. I love a book that is set in Mexico. We honestly don't get a lot of books set in Mexico and I'm so excited to get to it especially because it is set in the 1920s so I am truly truly excited to get to this one soon. The next book I have is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I've heard so many good things about this book. I've heard that this book is gonna put a smile on your face and it's gonna make you cry. It's a very wholesome story. I haven't heard any bad reviews of this book and everyone seems to love it and I'm looking forward to it. The next book is You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. This book sounds so amazing. This book is like a telenovela vibe story and I am so here for it. And lately I have been on a kick for romance stories and I've heard this one is 
really steamy. Our main characters are telenovela stars and I'm sure we're gonna get to see a little bit of the TV show and behind the scenes and it's gonna be exciting and it's gonna be steamy and I am so here for it. And last but not least, I have A Song of Wrath and Ruin by Rosane A. Brown. Again, one of those books that everyone was reading when it came out and they have said really good things about it and hopefully a great series at the end of the day this book follows our two main characters who are trying to kill each other and there's a competition going on but they don't know that they're trying to kill each other and i believe we have a hate to love romance as well within our characters so i'm really excited to pick this one up and besides the hobbit this book it's my top priority of the month i couldn't get to it last month so i'm really excited to get to this one and i almost forgot the book that i'm reading right now i am finally reading a sorcery of thorns by morgan rogerson i read her first book an enchantment of ravens last year and really loved it if you guys like the series of a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass i believe you guys are gonna like her writing style i think the characters and ideas of the world's the world building i don't know i think it's very similar but quite different at the same time i really enjoyed her first book and i've heard great things of a sorcery of thorns and i finally picked it up i am listening to it on script so far so good i'm really enjoying it and my favorite thing about her books is that they are standalones but yeah, they are fantasy. When I first read An Enchantment of Ravens, I truly wanted another book and to continue with the characters, but that was it, no more. And the same thing with this story, it's just one book, that's it, we don't get more. So it's really exciting to see how you can build this world and these characters and make us connect to the characters and want more out of them. But then we only have one book. I just think it's a different writing style and method. And I really like it to be honest. We don't have like the 20,000 books after the first one. So I am reading that one on audiobook. And really enjoying it. So those are all the books that I plan to read for the month of September. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you guys would like to see more videos. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.